you have no requests. Bless and love, everyone. <laughs> oh, I can't be showing all my information. Greetings, Chef Avia. <laughs> greetings, greetings, greetings. Greetings, greetings, everybody on the live. What's up? See, seven people already, you know, <laughs> they want to hear from us, Chef Avia. All right. Somebody now. says, so somebody says, hey, you know. <laughs> hey, everyone. We're just all right. live um, to talk about our detox program for equinox that we have coming up very soon you want to talk about it chef i'm moving around but i'm gonna okay. get still very soon <laughs> very soon guys i just am looking for lighting out here it's like a continuous continuous journey with the lighting um so we're gonna go in the tent and i'm gonna that's not a bad thing, okay. sis. You off grid. Some people don't even have that luxury because it is a luxury to live off grid yeah. and grow your own. So. It definitely, it definitely is a blessing, sis. You know, it definitely is a blessing. We definitely give humongous thanks. You know, um, humongous thanks, and it's it's real. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ashley joined out. I, 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 I know I'm gonna get I'm gonna get yes. busted up for not being able to say it right, but yeah. I'll keep it on. He he, yes, he, yes. he or she has joined as well. Yeah, so we're talking. You know, I'm letting you lead it. You know, this firebrand, the firebrand, be like, Arr. so you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, yes, we are here to uh, elaborate on the. Um, Fall Equinox detox program that we've collaborated on and what detoxing is and um, why is it important, especially in this time, in this Iowa, right? So you want to go first or me? <laughs> you already speaking. Okay, I'm listening. All right. All right. So, so what detoxing means to me is um, emptying yourself. And uh, to me, that's important, emptying yourself, not just physically, but um, em emotionally, energetically, um, mentally, because we carry a lot of baggage. And um, I believe that disease comes from the mind. So, um, and what do I mean by that? Um, stagnated old energy manifests in your, your goodie, your temple. And that shows up. So detoxing, detoxing mentally is important, clearing your space so that you can renew your energy and receive. And when your body is full of toxins, that can um, stagnate that you receiving. And so uh, mm. it's very important. 2023, why 2023? Just a little bit. Two plus two plus three is seven. Seven is the number of completion. Give thanks to the most high. And so um, completing, empty yourself. Empty mm. yourself. So in 2024, two plus two plus four is eight. Continual circle. You can be receiving blessings and much more. So I think it's very important um, to cleanse in this time right now. So that's just a little bit of what I have to say about oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, like, this is just for everyone who's joined on Give Thanks. This is really just a candid conversation um, or a candid reasoning. We don't like to say convo, but we don't want to be conning nobody in no right. conversation, you know, but a candid, we're having a candid discussion and reasoning about detoxing in 2023. Right now, why is it a special year to detox? And 
we happen to be doing a program right now that you really should think about joining if you have not already. Right. You know, uh, that is online, uh, online detox, not detoxing from online, but online. We, we're going to facilitate the program of detoxification in the online space, right? right. Um, you know, it's very interesting, um, sis, because it's so interesting to me because when I first started this raw food journey, like you couldn't have never told me some 15 years down the line that I would be emotionally, mentally, and spiritually where I'm at today. And all of it is really because of detox, you know, like how I look at, how I look at things is that we are perpetually always detoxing, like no matter what. You know what I mean? Like we as human beings, it's especially in the times that we were born into this planet on, it's like detox is required in order to even know yourself. Right. You know, if if I didn't know myself when I before I started detoxing, I thought I did. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there are aspects of myself that hasn't changed, but for the most part, I didn't really know who I was until I started detoxing a lot of the programs a lot of the um traumas a lot of the emotional energy a lot of the the mental energy from my space to go oh that's who you are oh hey hey india honey i knew i saw you somewhere you know what i mean like and for me it's 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 an interesting thing to be an educator and and, and be on my own personal journey while you're you know learning and you're detoxing yourself because it's like it's you learn so much when you go through the process of detoxing yourself that you know that it's not an easy process it's not overnight and it's a continuous process so it's like ones once feel like they're gonna arrive but you never arrive you just get to a next point where you're like hey dirty dirty draws in the corner why right. you dirty draws? How you, you been in there for months? How long you been there? Like you stink and everything roaches to eat you and all kind of <laughs> thing to happen to you right now. Right. You know? So, and, and sometimes like, I think on my journey, there was a point where I was like, oh man, like maybe I should just go back to eating all kind of judgment. I'm being real. I'm just being real. Right. And maybe because, you know, like all this detox and when am I going to reach a point where this stuff doesn't affect me or this is not this deep. Like I thought I was over that. Like, why am I having to deal with that right now? But it, in the process of detoxing it, you know, like I, I could never go back because I feel like I'm the human being I'm supposed to be. You feel me? Do you feel me? I, I, I totally feel, you know, I, I could, I, I feel you on so many different levels because I, I didn't imagine being the per person that I am today and and I'm in constant transformation and it and, and doesn't stop and um that's the beauty about life right and so we're we're always con here's the thing we're always constantly detoxing naturally it's when we stop that process that's when this the illness happens because we're always detoxing here so you know, uh, <laughs> so healing is always happening in 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 your temple and your goodie because every day the body is constantly sifting um filtering and eliminating and it's when we favor one side which is the unhealthy foods the um unhealthy music and things that we watch and we listen to an environment and when we favor that that's when you come out of ease, right? What they call this ease. And so mm -hmm. um, to be in the healing process or on the other side, which is in harmony or in ease, you change how you eat, you detox, you change your environment as much as possible. You um, change what you listen to and et cetera. So we're always constantly going through that process. It's a never ending process. Like I'm always discovering who Avia is like every time I'm detoxing I was like oh wow like yeah. I didn't know that yeah. I'm always discovering things about myself as I eliminate to be empty you know so 
I because you have to be empty to refill. Like you can't have a full cup and think that you're gonna come with any new energy or any new frequency. Greetings, um, Wakria Castillo Gilbert. She asks, would you get sick if you reverted to eating poorly? It would happen much faster, correct? Um, do you want me to? You want yes. you want to answer? <laughs> um, you know, like I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, oh, I'm like this angel raw foodist lady, you know, um, because that just doesn't exist. Anybody who tells you that and anybody and anybody who's up there and like, I never, ever, ever eat anything. Maybe they do somewhere. There's some people who are like that. Right. But you do get sick faster because remember your system is completely cleaned out. It doesn't have that buffer anymore. Right. So right away, you notice right away, like me personally, me personally, it's like, even if I wanted to go back and there are times I'm telling y'all off grid, sometimes we're growing our own food. We'd be hungry. You know, there'd be times we'd be sitting back going, Oh, remember, remember this and remember that and remember how that was. And, and then if you, right. So there are times where I think about it, but then because I've been a raw foodist for 15 plus years now, and my sis, I've done many fasts, many detoxing, much, much of that. It's like, even if I try, I get so ill. I have to be real with you, Walkiria Castillo. Mm -hmm. I get so ill. Like, you'll know. Like, if you're out there and you're watching me, you'll be like, dang, why she look like somebody stuck her in her eye? Like, I just saw her two days ago on a live and she was looking all fly and everything. And now, like, I don't know. She looked like she'd been drinking or something. She ain't doing something right for real. Cause I'll be wake, I'll be like, my, my eyes be so swollen. Or just even when you first consume it, there's a nuance, you know, like there's a nuance. When you are all live, you're hydrated, you're, and we're talking about detoxing, but you know, raw food is a detox liberty. It allows the, it allows the goodie and the spirit and the mental to, you know what I mean? To detox properly to, so that you can be free. That's what raw food is about, right? Like that's what it does to the, to anybody, to anybody who's on it, right? You start taking poo poos a lot of poo-poos and you just start feeling feeling like who you were meant to feel like whoever mm -hmm. that is right um but yeah the it, it's no joke there are nuances there are nuances like i can't even eat like cooked oats i can't eat cooked rice i can't eat cooked beans without feeling the nuance that doesn't mean i have not had it because there are sometimes in some circumstances that that's all i have to eat so i have to give thanks and i go forward with that you know but for the most part we make it our, our point to have our raw food and have our coconuts and have everything there. But there is nuances. There's I feel nuances to salt. Yeah. I feel nuances to sugar, even regular juices. Sis. Like even juices that we make and we, I feel the nuances of that, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll go in deeper. But yeah, you're right. Um, walk, 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 Kyria. Excuse me. Well, Kyria, it is. It, it does happen very quickly, and it allows you to adjust back very quickly too. Because you'd be like, "Oh, I'm not feeling feeling like that." Right. Are looking crazy. You be looking crazy too, and people may not say nothing, but you know you look crazy. <laughs> no, I feel you because um, let me tell you, um, the these are signs and signals you know people uh say it's sickness but is it really you know uh when we get these signs Ooh. these rashes this it's not sickness. i love how you it's your body it. telling you hey uh you just ate something you just consumed something that is not agreeing because guess yeah. what i'm gonna say something and those of you who have signed up for the program you'll get more in depth but um you know food is energy it's communication so it's just like what you eat is communication and and it's fueling and sustaining your dna right so now if we eat these junk foods and all this and that that's miscommunication that's confusion and then that's what goes into your body and then then you're wondering why you can't think straight so it's like when you think on it on that level, like these chemicals disguised as food are DNA altering. That's your communication. That's your 
I and I, the God within you. And when you tampering with that, it's crazy. So I'm not going to go because that's a whole nother conversation. But listen. No, that is, is the conversation. That is, that the, is conversation. the conversation. Oh, it is the conversation. It is the conversation. You know why, too? Because I find that because there's a lot of there's a lot of ones and ones. And, and I think it's a great thing because I think it's a. a I think it's a universal shift that's occurring on planet earth that ones and ones are becoming more aware and they're also becoming, uh, they're waking up, you know? So more and more people detoxing is great. I think that what people don't understand some of the aspects of detoxing, which again, as chef Avia has reminded us, if you joined the program, which begins like officially, officially, uh, then you will get more information on the knowledge that we carry about this. But you know, like from what I have experienced detoxing, right? In the beginning, it was about the physicality of things. Like I was really, not so much what I look like, but more so like what's coming out of me. You know, how am I physically getting better? How am I physically becoming a better individual? You know, like before I couldn't do certain things. Now I could do those things, right? Like those, that was the aim of doing a juice fast, right? And then as time progressed, and I think that it happened when I did my first 44-day juice fast. And when that happened, there was a shift in uh, how I related to cleansing and what cleansing really meant for, for me. And I will say from there, it became really about cleansing the heart space and the spirit it was like my physical my physical had been had gotten to a point where it could be optimum right which I, I feel like most people will that's where we have to start because a lot of people who are going into detoxification programs they're doing it because they're experiencing some kind of dis-ease some kind of dysfunction um of their physical goody and you know before you can even be spiritual or think mentally clear or you know even be emotionally sound if your goody is experiencing illness and dysfunction and disease there's no way that you can possibly put the amount of focus that would be necessary to cleanse on the other levels you know the ethereal levels emotional level the mental level and have a better spiritual outcome right so uh what I have found is the shift, it shifted it from me observing my physical goody during the detox. Now, I still do. You know, there's still certain aspects of my physical that changes when I'm detoxing. And I'm able to correlate that to the level of heal thyself spiritual vibration that I'm moving with, right? So if I see bags under my eyes, like you see this little bag, this is because I haven't drunk enough water. But then when we connect it with fasting and cleansing and detoxing and we connect it with the spiritual essence, what if something happened right now? Maybe short of patience. Why? Because I'm clearly dehydrated. You understand what I'm saying? So it's become more than about this idea I think that most people have detoxing and also it has carried with it a responsibility that I wasn't prepared for at first. And I think that um, a lot of people are not prepared for when they go into detoxing, because what I find with a lot of clients who I work with, they start out and they're doing great and everything is going good. And, you know, like, and, and then maybe two or three weeks into it, maybe even sooner, they have social Issues that come up in their social environment, in their in their in the environment that you know, with their parents, with their siblings, with their partners, with their children, yeah. and it becomes harder for them to stay consistent with being sensitive enough because that's really what detoxing does. I, I always speak about the importance of sensitivity because that is really why people don't like to detox. You know what I mean? Like, 
they be like, yo, like, I just, I just got bombarded with all of these emotions and, you know, got issues with real life issues. People think like when they're detoxing, they're always going to be on that high. Everything's always going to feel great. Everything is wonderful. The whole world should know about my, my elevation and we should have all kinds of conversations about it. And guess what? You should elevate too. You know, life just feels so expansive at that time when someone is detoxing, but then they come into conflict because the 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 energy now and this gets really 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 deep you know and i could i could talk i'm not going to talk too much because i want to hear more from you but like it gets really really deep because people could say hey to detox to a certain extent you get so sensitive that you become the crystalline structure that you're supposed to be Right. Like, and, and so you become Christ like. You're walking around and you're just beaming, you're communicating and you're in mm-hmm. telepathically, you're manifesting all kind of energy, all kind of circumstances and situations. Everything starts to change. Why do you think that you're not going to have any kind of opposition to that when the full world environment is not that? So you have all these people who are awakening on their spiritual journey, awakening, but then when they hit this kink of social unrest with whoever or physical unrest or whatever unrest, Mm -hmm. then it's like, well, I don't want to deal with it because it's too challenging. It's too hard to deal with. But that is causing us, as Chef Avia says, with the signs and the signals and even the symbols to make yeah. the changes that are necessary to elevate our spiritual essence in this time right now. And 2023 ain't no joke, y'all. You know what I mean? You have to remember like what we're coming out of. First of all, it's really 2013. Right. That's uh, like around that time. Like we're really, if we're dealing with biblical times that, you know, right. Chef Avi and I deal with, deal with that. That's how we relate. Um, you know, in Ethiopia, seven years prior to right now. That's mm-hmm. how they look at time right now in Ethiopia right now. So what was said in 2012, you know, what was said was going to happen in 2012, like way back when they said the world was going to end. They said it was going to be a crazy tech, this, that all of those things have happened. So 2023 is the year COVID has happened. All of this is, it's the year to really become sensitive enough as Chef Avia says, to be able to receive the signals so you know how to move as a human being on this planet in this time right now. Because most of everything, it's a spiritual warfare first. It's a spiritual essence that we're walking in first. When you open your eyes, it's, it, that, your spirit, th- there was a spirit that came down and, um, and put that you know action in you to open your eyes. So 2023 is a very you know ominous year. It's, it's, it's a very serious year. Uh, it's three years following COVID and we know that things happen in cycles of three when we're also talking about completion cycles, you know, Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, the Trinity is in three. So it's going to be three years since COVID launched and we're already hearing all this crazy stuff going on. They already talking about it's going to be another wave. They already talk about that. There's a lot that has occurred and happened that once and once feel, you know, I think they feel it, Chef Fabio, because they're out there and you they talk to you about it. They feel right. it. But what to do in this time, how to be clear enough so that you make the right moves is really essential. And that's what detoxing does, is it makes you more sensitive to your frequency and the frequency that's around you, that's part of you as well, so that you know how to move. Right. That was a mouthful. Um, I didn't no, like but it was was it was much needed uh somebody asked a question that you can answer um what what setup do we have for the cleanse and access and support oh okay so the the cleanse is it is a virtual hub it's a virtual hub that you enter and it is it's technically 10 days because once you once you enroll there's three days of pre you know outline schedule recipes video prompts for you to follow and then on the day that the actual detox actually goes live with chef avia and i which is on the 29th we have a live session every day we have a demo every day of a food item you have a a a 
a time schedule, like a schedule outline of what you will be eating. There are recipe cards that come with that as well. And then there is the psycho, spiritual, mental, emotional work that's done with it as well that is accompanied with the hub through an app. So there are prompts and there are also videos. And then we also have reasonings about this as well because you know networking is very important in and 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 really detoxing properly because you do need support um what while kiria castillo gilbert says that's the part she fears what part is that i didn't i didn't catch that one um, and I then think she was talking about uh reverting back um so you know you can't Here's the thing, coming off of what you said, um, dealing with clients and they're doing great first couple weeks, a week or whatever, and then they just crash. And that crash is because you're just thinking about the physical aspect and what we're going to be touching upon is the, is the mind aspect because this whole warfare is about the mind. It's It's been an attack on the mind and your heart is your mind. That's the spirit. So you have to do the deprogramming subconsciously and reprogram. And what cleansing does physically is it gives you that space to eliminate old programming, old food, old habits, and, and to, to receive so that you can reprogram yourself so that you can be prepared because it's a life. And you can't just say, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this juice. And blah, blah, blah. That's why some people that have all the money in the world, they uh, once something crashes, they kill themselves. Why? Because they're not mentally stable. They're not spiritually, um, they don't have a groundation. So it's, it's about moving forward. Why would you want to turn back to a lifestyle that's not serving you? And so this is what that's about. This is about changing your mind opening your heart and 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 deprogramming to reprogram to a new you you know be excited about the new transformation you know does does a butterfly look back and say hey i want to be a caterpillar again no it doesn't do that you know you only the human mind only the human mind would do that but you know the thing is too is and also just to add to that like and to add to accent and i see you king um king kings kings watson i see you i see your 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 comment there so i will i wanted to address that i will say that um for me and looking back it was about not wanting to accept where i'm at um and not and what i mean when i say that is because the more and more you detox and the more and more you fast the more and more you clear this structure from the pre-programmed notions of what it, it should be or all your experiences and stuff like that um the more i knew i had to change everything about my life uh and also what that meant for for I at the time was that it was a very lonely road. So it was the emotional aspects of not wanting to accept what that meant, even though really, to be honest with you, I have no choice because it's been 15 years. I am an educator. I am a teacher. Even if I want to put down the baton, that's not the plan that the Almighty has for me. So it's like, when you go on this journey of detoxing too, there is a responsibility that you carry because most ones and ones around you, they're not going to share that same path with you, you know, in that same way. And they may not even ever share that with you, but you still have relatings with them. You still relate with them and you still are around them and you still, you know, so it was about loving myself and accepting myself in the fullness to know that, hey, this is the path that the Most High has called me to be on. And even though it's not fun right now, because to be sensitive is not always fun when you have to deal with, when you're sensitive by yourself and all your superpowers are activated, it's like, yeah, I'm on top of the world. You know what I mean? Like, nobody could ever take me down from here. Like, I'd be like, right. Bing. and then the next person be like, Bing. And then we'd be just binging all over the place. You know what I'm saying? But when you have to actually 
even like coexist with someone else because we're all toxic. Don't get it twisted. Just because I've been eating raw foods for 15 years don't mean that I don't have things to cleanse out. But when you come into, because con- everything is on the unseen, when you come into contact with that force in another, in another being that does not really want to be addressed, it becomes war, you know? So it, it becomes difficult to detox and stay through that. Uh, side note, we also have a community hub to support ones and ones. Um to support thanks judah we we have a community hub to support ones and ones as well that's like part of your community you could dm and connect with other people who are on the same cleansing journey as you i'm trying to get light again here okay um um, yeah